Hey everyone, Zane here and today we are going to introduce Wix Dynamic Pages tutorial. Just for the demonstration, what is Dynamic Pages in Wix? Dynamic Page is a page that you can actually use and link a database to it. So whenever you change anything in the database, this will reflect on your page on Wix and the changes will be also saved on Wix without making the same changes on the page itself. So when you do any modifications to the database, add any kind of data, it will be added to the page automatically. Now, first you should go to any website of yours and click on the design button. So now I will show you exactly how to navigate to this page. You should first go to the dashboard and choose any one of your websites, then click on design site right here and it will jump you to this page as you can see. So what you should do in fact is to simply search for things that I'm gonna show you right now. You should go to the search bar right here and search for CMS. After you search for it, you here you will find some options that you can add the CMS. After you add it, you will find it just here as you can see. Now you will have to search for dynamic pages. So I'm gonna search for dynamic pages. You can also search for dynamic pages from the first time and it will ask you to first add CMS. So you can simply click on dynamic page right here. And after that, you can simply click on add site. And after that, you will have to choose which preset that you need. So I'm gonna choose team member, for example, then I'm gonna click on add to site. And after that, it will be added to my site within minutes. Now here, as you can see, it will show you this view by default. And here you have the fields and items. You have the name, photo, job title, and so on. You can also click on this plus sign in order to create a new view. You can also name it. So I'm gonna name it new, for example. Then you can also choose the default view from here. You can choose between tables, less, gallery, and so on. Now let's go back to the default view by tables. You can also add an item by clicking on this button right here, then add any item that you need and click on save after you're finished. You can also add a new field by scrolling to the right side, then click on add field. You can add something like experience, for example. So I'm gonna click on experience right here, then click on save and the experience will be added right here. Now I can type five years, for example, and four years and so on. And this is the number of years of experience for each one of these members. And when you click also on add field, you have other options like the validations. You can make it required or non-required field. You can also limit the character count, accept specific values only. You can also put a default value, let's say default value zero, for example, and so on. Now, after you finish, you can simply click on save or you can simply click on this X button and you will find here that all the data are added to your dynamic page. Now, when you click on any one of these items, you can see here, read more, manage content. So I'm gonna click on manage content, for example. You can also edit the text if you want. You can click on edit content right here in order to edit anything in this page. You can also connect any database. So you can simply click on the picture or any one of these members right here, then click on connect CMS. And after that, you will be able to connect it to any type of data that you need. You can also remove the connected data or replace it with another one. So you have many options to choose from. And here you will find the type of connected data. You can choose between the image, text section, buttons, and so on. So now let me show you how you can actually make your own one. You can simply go to this section right here, CMS, click on it, then go to your collections and click on create collection. And here, as you can see, I will click on start from scratch, then click on next. Then after that, I'm gonna name it here, for example, contacts, because I want to make something for the contacts page. Then I'm gonna click on create. And after that here, it will show you the template. Now you can simply add any title that you want. I'm gonna click on edit, then here type the name. Let's say cold caller, for example, then I'm gonna click on save. And after that, you can simply add another thing, which is gonna be a text also. I'm gonna click on choose type field. Then I'm gonna make it email, for example. After that, I can also add another field number for example choose field type i'm gonna type number phone number exactly to be specific let's type here phone number then click on save and now we can add any type of tickets that you need now we can also click on add field click on reach text and by this way you will have something that you can actually use in order to type a lot of data 
So I'm going to type here description, for example, and when you click on it here, you will be able to, you know, type a lot of things right here. But here in the name, you can only type a simple thing like a name of someone, let's say Jeffrey Bezos, for example. And for the email, you can also do the same thing because we chose the text type. You can also add some other things like URL, tags, rich content, multi-reference, media gallery, images, and so on. So you can add any type of data that you need. And you can also add the names of people just right here. So I'm going to type anything just right here in order to demonstrate something. And after you finish, you can simply click on this option right here. And here you have the page of contacts. You can now convert it to a dynamic page by clicking on these three dots right here. Then click on add dynamic page. And here, as you can see, we'll have some options. I can simply make it list page, not an item page. Then click on add to site. And after that, it will be added to my website. As you can see, I have it, but it doesn't have any information because I didn't fill in all the information yet. So now what you all need is to simply connect these partitions or these type of data right here to a database. So you can simply click on connect it to CMS and connect the database that you need. And that's how simple it is. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you for watching and see you in a new video.